Life in 2021 as a Ravens fan has been tough. It's been tough, like to say the least. It's been tough. First, it all started with the injuries, and it actually never stopped with the injuries. It, it really didn't, um, because that, those have continued throughout this entire season. But then, COVID said, "Hey, hey, Ravens, what's up, big heads? What's going on, y'all?" I got to make my appearance one more time. You, you know, I came through for y'all last year. We, we had a lot of fun. And you know what? It was so nice. I'm about to come back through twice. How about we do it again, shall we? And the Ravens already, right now, they have so... Well, Chuck Clark, he just came off the COVID list. So shout out to him. Benjamin Victor, he came off the COVID list as well. But besides those two... Oh, Tristan Colon Castillo, he came off too. So besides those three, the Ravens have so many players on the COVID list. So many. And now they got another one in Tyler Huntley. They had said that yesterday, Tyler Huntley, he was feeling sick. And I was like, oh, boy, here we go. But then Aditi King Kabawa, she said, hey, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's not COVID. And we were all like, whoo, because oh, we were scared. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. And I was like, okay, maybe Tyler Huntley got that little, that Florida sickness. So sometimes our stomach will start hurting or something. And it just, it, it ain't the day. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's Lamar done been through the same thing a couple times before. All right, it's all good. But now today, Ian Rappaport, uh, he said, per me and Aditi Kikabawa, Tyler Huntley is headed to the COVID-19 reserve list. Sick yesterday, now on the list today. He is out for Sunday. He's out. He's done. He's out. So what are the Ravens going to do? Because Lamar Jackson, he's out because he's been hurt. Now, I really hope, I really hope the Ravens, they, this doesn't make them, all right, Lamar, you, you got to be out there now since Tyler Huntley's out. We got no choice. And I really do think it seems as if this injury may be a little bit worse than the Ravens are leading us to believe, but that's a whole nother conversation. But with Tyler Huntley being out, they have Josh Johnson, but who would back him up? I, Ravens have to sign somebody. Who would back up Josh Johnson because... Lamar Jackson out because of injury. Tyler Huntley out because of COVID. Chris Straveler is also on the COVID list. I'm like 99% sure he's on there too. So who's going to back up Josh Johnson? The Ravens have to, they're going to have to sign somebody. They're going to have to sign somebody. They're going to have to bring, they're going to have to bring somebody on within the next like couple of hours. And that person is going to have to fly with it. Like, hold up. Because the game is in Cincinnati tomorrow. So Ravens, they will be flying out today, and oh, this thing is, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? Let me just check right now. Let me just check right now, because I know that that COVID list, the Ravens COVID list is crazy. Um, let, let me see uh, who the backup would be. Cause I, I cause I know they 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 I know Jeff Zrebic just tweeted out everybody who's on the list uh, right now. And I'm about to check it right right here, right now, so we can know. Because I just want to make sure. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, maybe uh, maybe what's the name isn't. Maybe Chris Traveler isn't on the list. Maybe he's not on the list. I really thought he was. I was like a thousand percent sure that he was. But maybe he's not. Uh, maybe he's one of the people that wasn't on it. Okay, so if that's the case, then that... um, whew. That uh, lets us know um, that maybe he will be actually able to play. <laughs> this thing is a mess, man. Oh, this thing is a mess, man. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess, man. It's a mess. It is a mess. So, uh, maybe, so I guess they don't have to sign anybody. If Chris Traveler isn't on the list, he'll just get called up for the game tomorrow as a uh, COVID replacement, as a COVID call up. And that'll be that. Um, I don't know, man. I just, <laughs> oh, goodness, man. Like, <sighs> draining, draining. Th this season has been draining. Now, imagine if Ravens pull this off. Imagine if they pull it off with Josh Johnson. 
Imagine. Any anything's possible, but just imagine. Um mm. I don't even know, yo. <laughs> I don't even know, yo. Oh, my expectations um, going into the game. Oh, hold up. Okay. So, Jeff Zrebic, he cleared it up. He said Josh Johnson and Lamar, the Ravens, only two quarterbacks not on the reserve COVID list. He said, so Jackson may have to be active either way. Mm, I don't think they would do that. I don't think they would have him active and then, like, and him not play, like, no, so okay, so maybe Chris Traveler is there then on the on the COVID list. Anyway, whether he is or not, Josh Johnson tomorrow. I don't know, man. I know this video been all over the place. My head is all over the place right now because these Ravens are all over the place. Um, this is just it, it's just insane. It's just insane. Like that's ain't no ain't no other way to put it, man. This is insane, insane, insane. Um. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Ooh, but with Josh Johnson, hey, you don't know what to expect. I mean, this this would be the real earth ultimate curveball because remember, uh, before we talked about with Tyler Huntley, like with, with leading up to the Packers game, the Ravens were like, oh, okay, uh, yeah. Lamar, he didn't practice, but he could still play. Still a possibility, possibility that he could play. I can't even talk. Um, and he didn't play. So they were trying to make the Packers prepare for both quarterbacks. We knew Lamar wasn't playing. Packers knew Lamar wasn't playing, but regardless. But then this week, like, all right, Bengals. Lamar hasn't been practicing. You know, Bengals, they preparing for Tyler Huntley. All right, watching film on Tyler Huntley. Then boom! Josh Johnson time, baby. And that, that's a curveball that nobody saw coming. Nobody. Not even the Ravens. Uh, Wink Martindale talked about it in the presser from either yesterday or the day before yesterday. He said that um, there's a lady, the lady that handles the uh, the health and safety and, and all the COVID stuff that gives him all the information. He said that they, they love her. They love her. They appreciate her job. They appreciate what she does. They got a lot of love for her. But Wink said that he hates seeing her because she's the one that always has to deliver that bad news. I'm saying, oh, this person is on COVID list. That person is on COVID list. So it's very, very unfortunate. So anyway, um, <laughs> that's it. That's that's it. Like, that's it. What? That's it. What can you, what can you do? What can you do? What can you expect? <laughs> I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. So. Team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Um, mm, mm, mm. My guy, Jeff, he said it's Jackson and Johnson. That's all they got. That's it. So it's looking like it's going to be uh, Josh Johnson. Um, and uh, whether well, Lamar is active, but Sam Cook. He, uh, man, Rashad Bateman, he looked like he could play some quarterback. He looked like he could throw. So he might have to get some action at the quarterback position, just in case, just in case, just in case. Um, now, uh, w something to think about. Josh Johnson and Tyler Huntley are both quarterbacks. So they are around each other. They practice together. They be in the building together. So just imagine a Denver Broncos type situation from last year. Because it cannot be ruled out because we still have a less than 24 hours. Yeah, less than 24 hours before the game. It is possible. Something to think about. And I mean, I know you figure, oh, it can't get any worse than this. Oh, it can. Something to think about. It is possible that. Within the next 24 hours, that Josh Johnson could also be placed on the COVID list as well. It is very possible. So just keep that in mind going forward. And it's possible Lamar, they could throw Lamar on there too. But he ain't been practicing, so it'd be a lot harder to. But still, if Lamar been going to all the QB meetings and stuff, and so it is possible that the Ravens could actually have no quarterbacks for the game tomorrow against the Bengals. 
So, hope your day is going great. Love ya. We out.